Over the last 10 years, the urban regeneration of Edinburgh's Muir House has been taking place. A 300 million development including a PFI funded secondary school. The development of the Pennywell district has begun, but its progress has been blocked by one man. This is Sunny Muir House. Behind me is where Stan Lawson used to stay. Stan went to the European courts because he believed that his human rights had been violated. Well, this place hasn't always been like this. Pennywell hasn't always been like this. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll let the people tell you the story of the last stand of the Muirhouse Rebel. Well, my opinion is that uh, Leslie Hines should have waited until after the housing referendum before any houses were knocked down for starters. And as you can see, well, this was Stanley's house. It was a lovely garden he had here. His grandkids used to play here. Now look at it. The kid was to go in there, they're coming out and going in an ambulance, you know? Well, old Stanley, uh, seemingly, he got sort of... He, he was having to move eventually. I mean, you, you carry a whole progress back. Um, old Stan was right over there. I think that um, if we had been there longer, it would have been a different outcome. At first, it was just a minor intervention into the problem in 2004. When I was told that they were not interested in people and the school would go ahead, right reason or not, whether the people wanted to be put back on that site or not, that was of no consequence. You know, these houses could have been um, refurbished. They're not that bad. There's, you know, they could have been refurbished quite easily. So I believe that people have rights and it's been ignored. That they're supposed to be getting demolished, right? Huh? And then we were told another, another, another thing that they were getting refurbished up, you know, refurbished, and, um, and we don't know where we're standing at the moment with the council. I've got the uh, handcuffs, so there's about eight of them on top of them, putting the handcuffs on them, and then uh, that was when they got dragged out of the house, but they are marked all his arms. And I'm not a kind of person to move. I've been tempted twice, three times to move south, but I've always resisted, because I love Scotland. I love Edinburgh, and when I've been abroad or anything like that, and people ask me where I come from, I say for men, we're the best city in the world. And I think myself personally, everybody felt sorry to some extent, but pretty dangerous thing there when everything else is coming out. I read it in the paper like everybody else, he, he, he got conned, he came out, but regardless if he got conned, he's going to have to move eventually. It's, it's just the way it is, eh? I think people that's actually moved and stayed in this area should get first priority. If you've been brought up in this area, you should get first, um, you know, first come, first served. Also, I think that most of the people that have moved out, they're getting us £1,800, and to them that, that's a lot of money. When people move into this area for about two minutes flat sort of thing, you know, they've been a few up to and they'll get £2,000. And young kids getting £2,000, it's ridiculous, it really is, it's a, tempt it's a bribe. If they're living in a nice area, hopefully the, 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 the good will outweigh the, the bad. Well, it's all over now. And the revolt from the People's Republic of Pennyville has been crushed. Stan has been evicted. The people have had the resettlement money. And now Pennyville is to be demolished for a 300 million PFI school. Pennyville, we are gone. But in our memories, you will never be forgotten. Goodbye. So you divided up my land